free charger from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't matter any charge you want. And I got one of them stockings from the Dollar Tree left over. Now, I didn't use that felt, but I did take my um, little stocking apart just like I did that bag. But I used those little scissors from the Dollar Tree and got the seam out of it. Now, this one takes a bit, it's a bit more sensitive. So, I just pulled a little bit and then I took those scissors and then cut. See? Until I got that completely open. And I had to put on gloves, take that felt. I love it, y'all, because you know how I am about felt. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. And then I got a box from Amazon, and then I broke it down, and then I cut out that shape right there. Now, um, I lost that footage. And then I just take and cut out a piece of that stocking, and I just glue it down. And there, if you cut that piece off right there, it folds right over, and you don't have a big, thick, bulk mess. You know what I mean? Just fold that right up over that. And hot glue it all the way around. But anyway, here I just free-handed some rabbit ears. So I took one of those those feet. Those are so cute. Come in six-pack from the um, Dollar Tree. And I traced it out on my cardboard. And then I went around it. See? Like that. Just followed the shape of it to make it bigger. I mean, it was crooked. But those wood ones was too small for my bunny. If uh, And you can make your bunny smaller. But I just placed my feet in my other ear and... On that stocking that's left over. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. And then I just cut it out with scissors. I got that yarn from the Dollar Tree. But I took one of them signs there. Small signs from the Dollar Tree. And I wrapped that bad boy a hundred times. A hundred times. <laughs> Y'all don't have to do that. That's just what I did. You can use regular yarn. Any kind of yarn you want. Any color yarn you want. But I wrapped it a hundred times. And then I just take a piece of um that white um macrame. Cord. But I go down the center and I tie it in a double knot. Um, this is how we're going to make it the tail, make a pom pom, and then cut off the um, the loops. You only know, cut the loops open um, at each end. There you go, and then shake it out, y'all. This stuff was there. Look at that. I ain't even teasing. And I laid it over that felt and I cut it. But I was like, I can't deal with this fuzzy stuff anymore. So I take that car wash towel piece of it I have left and take a little tiny paint bottle. And I circle around the the lid of it to make the little toe pads. And then the bottom of it to make the heel pads. And I thought about putting buffalo check and white on it. I didn't know. I didn't know what that looked like. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. So I just used white. And I take Aileen's Tacky Glue and I hot glue the little pads on. Yeah, you guys. This is just <laughs> too cute. I think so. I'm like in love. This thing is already set up in my living room. But see where I cut the little pieces of cardboard and then I cut a little triangle piece there. You can cut square, whatever, to make it stay sturdy so it don't fall down in that thing. And I use that bottom line as a guide as to where I'm putting my bunny butt. And I just take Aileen's Tacky Glue and I'm going to take some hot glue. You guys were my uh, fine tip glue gun. Broke. I burnt myself constant. I'm spoiled by it. I had to order a new one. They said it wouldn't be here till March the 4th, but it came today, thank the good Lord above, because I'm tired of burning myself. But anyway, just hot glue your butt down. Or, yeah, just glue your butt down with, yeah. And then, um, I don't glue his, do it. Yep, yeah, I do glue his feet. Well, well, never mind, I told a lie. You should glue the tail first. That's originally what I was gonna do and i meant to do but I, i'm i'm me i i'm different and anyway I just glue his little feet on and then um i'm gonna take his little tail and cut that excess string off there and i put some hot glue there and because i'm gonna glue a little piece of cardboard onto it, a little cut piece of cardboard um because i want to have a, a base bigger to put the glue on to glue my tail down and i use some aileen's tacky glue and glue it on there and I keep fluffing his tail, and I put my glue down there, and oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> this thing. Oh, I'm serious. Anyway, um, look, oh my gosh, and I'm going to see where I'm going to put the ears, and I just uh, get that layout and use Aileen's Tacky Glue, and you can get that at the Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, I did leave a lot of stuff in. Sometimes people say I don't leave enough stuff in, and they didn't get what I did, and I just don't know, but I took a pencil mark and marked where I wanted to put the ears. You can't even hardly see it, but anyway, and then just uh, glued my other, my, glued my ears on there. This is adorable. And I take um that white grogan ribbon and that gray and white, um, I was going to use the bowls from that stocking, but it didn't, it didn't look right. And, um, 
that gingham gray and white gingham ribbon and i hot glued my bow on its butt right above its little tail and i did have some carrots glued on there and i didn't i was like i don't know i don't know if that looks good and so i took them off and then my daughter said oh that was cute but anyway here she is <laughs> look at her i took a little uh, heart bead white and black and i glued it in the center of my bow and i think this is the cutest thing Okay, y'all, I got these two little breadboards from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to measure it down an inch and try to find the I center. I wish I went down a half an inch instead of an inch, but I didn't, so here you go. So, when I find the center, I'm going to drill a hole in, in the center. <laughs> okay. Um, I got one of those little, I don't know, or just a little board. I don't know. It's so thin. I don't know. I got that from the Dollar Tree. Now, if you put it on half there, you'll see later your die rods are going to fit. But, yeah, I'm goofing it in. And if you got three of them, you can just build your box like that if you want um, solid sides. You know what I mean? But not me, no. I put it on the end of the... I didn't set it on it. I set it at the end of it. Y'all you, see here in a minute. So, I take wood glue. See? Right there on the end of it. Yeah. And I take those little teeny tiny cubes, you know, those little packs of cubes from the Dollar Tree. I set that weight on because my board warped up, like being in the middle anyway, whatever. And I put that wood glue, hot glue on it. And just to hold that side onto the, the <laughs> hold the board. You see what I'm doing. I took the giant um, paint stir sticks because the little ones, my my board was too long. Again, if you set it on top, you could probably use it all the way across. And I measured them down, and I cut them down. And I'm just going to take some, uh, first I took wood glue. See? No, wait a minute. <laughs> Y'all like, shut up. What are you doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. My, my, my little dowel rods was too short. They wouldn't fit. Um, so I had to use a skewer. Um, yeah. So that's what I did. Used an old skewer. And it was warped too. I'm like, gee whiz. Um, what am I doing? Oh, anyway. Um, yeah, okay. So, I'm going to paint it in plaster chalk paint. Oh, my goodness. Every bit of it. I'm such a mess. I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, that doesn't surprise y'all. And I take one 20 millimeter bead and four 18 millimeter beads. And I put two of the 18 on each side. And I just decided to put them on there and paint my skewer beads and all. Because, why not, right? I mean, dirt. I was going to use it like that. So, okay, now I'm going to put my sides on. I want to put it together again. And paint. I wish I'd left part of it. Um, well, it don't matter. Um, so, I use first uh, wood glue and wood glue hot glue. And then I'm like, eh, I'm just going to use wood glue. And I'm just going to take um, and throw a few little 5 8 inch brad nails anyway, down in it to help hold it together. So, there's my little box. And I'm just going to put my little handle in. And then I took my pruning shears. I love those things, y'all. And I did paint the end of the, that, you know what I mean? And I and I just snipped it all fair. And I'm just going to sand it down really, really good. So I got two of those little bunny rabbits. Look at these. I got both these packs from Dollar Tree this year. And they look the same. But look, the ears are different. You see that? Y'all, be careful. I don't know why mine was like that. So, anyway... Um, I don't know why it's so dramatic about that. Anyway, I'm just going to chase my little bunny rabbits. And the reason I'm chasing it was because all the nooks and crannies. And I did not want to fight it. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't want to fight it. And I feel the hose with lightweight spackle. Now y'all's like, you're putting paper over it. Why do you feel the hose? Well, I'm also going to paint. <laughs> I'm going to paint the back of them. Cut my paper out. Because you're going to be able to see them from the back. And I don't want them to be unfinished. It ain't going to look good, you know what I'm saying, so, anyway, so I filled the holes, and I painted it, and this wa wallpaper, oh, golly, uh, y'all, I need to go back to bed, it's too early for me, um, this scrapbooking paper, oh, my gosh, I'm sorry, y'all, painted them plaster, yeah, and I'm just gonna put the glue on the little wood bunny rabbit, and I put the little scrapbooking paper down, then if I have any left, I'm not even gonna try to sand it, because, y'all, it just, Two small nooks and crannies. So, I do take my... Oh, I wipe that spare glue out that smooshes out because that drives me nuts. And I take my little finger cutter there and I cut the extra off. Now, I'm showing you. Y'all could use that little box year round. Year round. 
and take all these little wood pieces you get from the Dollar Tree, paint them up, and use it. Okay, that offre, I think that's what it's called, ribbon. I always get that from the Walmart, but I found that at the Dollar Tree, y'all. So I just made two little bows, um, a little purple one for her and a little blue one for him. Put hers in her hair and him's, him's around his, him's neck. <laughs> his neck. Anyway, I got those little pop-up thingies there from the Dollar Tree. And it's only got one sticky side. So I pulled off blobs of them and I put hot glue on the non-sticky side. The non-sticky side. Because I wanted it to stay, you know, for a while on the back of my bunnies. Y'all see what I'm doing there? Y'all see what I mean? You can use magnets or those little Velcro things. I opted to use those because it was more difficult. Of course, I think that's the route. I always take. Not intentionally, but that's what I do. So, I got that uh, floral foam from the Dollar Tree. And I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So, um, it fit in there. I mean... Perfect. I only had three pieces left and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, and I put that um reindeer moss down in there and shoved it down in there with my cricket tool because I didn't want you to see the floor foam in the box. See what I mean? And then I'm gonna take some Spanish moss. <laughs> Gee whiz. And some more of that reindeer moss. I can't stand the touch and the smell of that, y'all. That just ugh. Okay, so that lavender, I think that's so pretty. I got it at the Walmart. I've had it for since last year. And then I got those beautiful purple and yellow flowers from Dollar Tree. Y'all, I tried to get those last year and could not. And I was able to get them this year. And I love them. And they're frosted. I went four different Dollar Trees and found them at four different times. That was just pure luck. Anyway, I threw some carrots in there and a couple little styrofoam eggs. And this is adorable. And then you can just switch out a little flag for 4th of July, a little acorn for fall, or pumpkin, pumpkin, any of that, y'all. Yeah. So, I hope y'all like it, too. Oh, my so, goodness. I went to my garage and got absolutely lucky and found that piece of wood that happened to be the same height as that little sign there that I got from the Dollar Tree. I was like, it was fate. It was just meant to be. So, right now, what I'm doing is just putting the mare side by side. Excuse me, rude. And I'm just going to mark it. Excuse my big old bucket head. And uh, take my saw there and cut it down to the length that I need. That thing is from the Dollar Tree. And that little home sign is from the Dollar Tree. And that wood piece is from my garage. Anyway, y'all can come shopping there if you want. But anyway, I just took my heat tool and my Cricut spatula. And I took my little sticker off back there. And I'm taking the hanger off of it. And sticker off it. And because I heated up the back to get that sticker off, that home sign came off like a gem. I never dreamed. I was like, I can't believe I only bought one of these. Now look. Anyway, so I'm just going to sand it down. And where I cut it and the edges, if anything's hanging over, and sand that glitter off. Y'all know that glitter makes me itch. So, I'm going to paint it all in... Waverly chalk paint and ink. Now, I don't know why I did this. Bree did it. And for some reason, I thought I had to do it. <laughs> and I didn't. But I did it anyway. I should have painted that black to cover it all up. I painted everything black. Then, I went over two coats of plaster chalk paint by Waverly. Good gravy. I'm telling you the truth. I can sure mess up with something. Anyway... Yeah, I could just painted the back of that black and used the front of it and painted it white. You know what I mean? Just covered up that mess. But no, not me. I have to make things harder on myself. So, and my editing skills are terrible. Anyway, I got that beautiful tissue paper from the Dollar Tree. It's my favorite one. She may, I can't do a brief. Sorry, I can't sound like you. Anyway, so I'm just going to cut a piece of that tissue paper off. I got it from the Dollar Tree. And it is gorgeous. I love that stuff. It's got eucalyptus on it. I love it. Eucalyptus. Anyway, going to take me a light coat of Mod Podge, a very light coat. Look, y'all, and I got my saran wrap ready. I always tear off a piece of my saran wrap when I'm doing any kind of decoupaging. So I put that down, just barely tap it down. You don't want to go all crazy or nothing like that. Get it stuck to your finger. Because with tissue paper, I feel like I almost, I don't know, it just, I feel like I rip it more than I do napkins. <laughs> I don't know why. You wouldn't think I would. Anyway, boy, I sure did leave a lot in this video. Couldn't get my video to load today, y'all. Anyway, so I just get all my tissue paper on there and take my heat tool and dry it because I was in a hurry. And then I have to put another 
Co, a Mod Podge on the top. Now, my Mod Podge is satin Mod Podge. I'm out of the mat. I need to get me some more. I just haven't yet. And going to take me some washi tape and put it just, well, I don't know what I was thinking. So I did take my, my mat there. Um, can you see, you can see my mat on my table. And I just measured it by the lines on my mat. Now, I'll do something silly here in a minute. I shouldn't have done it, but I'll tell you all what to do and not to do that if you decide to make this. Anyway, I paint it in um, celery chalk paint by Waverly. I love that color. It's gorgeous. Right there, I took my tape off. I should have never done that because when I get done, I mean, I like the pattern. But okay, right here, <laughs> taking washi tape, and I lined it up with the lines on my mat again like an inch apart. But... Yeah, if y'all do this, decide to do this, don't take that first blob of washi tape off. And I know better. I paint buffalo check. I don't know why I was thinking. I'm not doing this buffalo check, but still. Anyway, and I paint that in the moss chalk paint by Waverly. Those two colors are absolutely gorgeous colors. See? There. So I had to take and fix it and run my celery lines on up to the top. And through the middle and stuff like that. Gonna take one of those rub-off transfers from the Dollar Tree. And going to put it on that board. Um, a lot of y'all seen me use these last week. On the last video. Sorry. Now. Because that's a little darker than what I wanted. Because I wanted to match the wreath more so. I sanded it down. And I cut off a bunny rabbit on my Cricut. I just went in Cricut Design Space. And then I took that welcome there. I just went into Cricut Design Space. And then... I, that every bunny, um, oh my, I'll have to put in the, um, description box if y'all want, because I can't remember the font that I used. Anyway, I just cut all that stuff off, in my, and look at this, how cute, y'all saw it in the beginning, but I love this, when I saw Brie make this, I was like, I want that, I got a hobbit, anyway, um, I think our fonts, yeah, our fonts are different. Our bunny rabbit's a little bit different. But other than that, yeah, I love that. It was absolutely gorgeous. Brie, great idea. You did a Let's wonderful job. On. So, right here, I got one of those little bunny rabbits from the Dollar Tree. And I filled a little hole with spackle. And it dried. <laughs> so, I'm going to sand it off. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Excuse me. Anyway, so... I got rust -Oleum white linen chalk paint, linen white chalk paint, and I'm going to paint the entire rabbit, even the sides of it, because I don't want that to show. That's just how I am. And I got my little old cookie sheet there. That way I can move it out of my way so I can work on something else. So I don't just like throwing ugly cookie pans around. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. So I got that woo, 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 woo police car. From Hobby Lobby for, I think it was $1.99, y'all. I'm not even playing. Y'all need to check out their clearance because, I mean, that's a nice size photo frame and background for $1.99. So I just popped it out of there and I'm going to clean it off after I pulled out a gazillion little bride nails. I don't know what they're thinking. That's like a piece of cardboard. It wasn't going to fly out of there. Anyway, so I'm going to sand it all down. And I'm going to give it a coat of linen white chalk paint. Because I just got to cover up that ugly. Y'all. Cover up the ugly. And I'm going to paint my frame in linen white chalk paint. Y'all like, gee whiz. So I got that fat quarter from Dollar Tree. And I get them a good bit from there. And that is actually a navy and white buffalo check. It is... I'm so sorry. It sounded like a UFO popped in there for a minute. Anyway, so... um, Yeah, so navy's really in this year for spring. So I thought I'd do some blue and pink and white um, DIYs. So... Just cut that out to the size of my little front. I should have ironed it first. I waited and ironed it afterwards. But I got that Loctite and that stuff sticky. So I'm setting me up a little frame there. And um, I just sprayed that down. 
And the good thing about the Loctite is you can move it. If it's not placed on there right, you can pick it up and move it. You got time to move it around. Um, I don't do so well with Mod Podge. Mod Podge is my enemy. Yeah, I think it caught and threatened me last night because of what I did with it. But anyway, I'm joking. So, I just um, got me some hot glue and ran beads of all the way around that frame. If you have your hot glue gun set on low temperature, if you have a low temp glue gun, you actually have more time to work with it. Um, that's in my experience. When I use the high heat, dude, that stuff dries fast. It like hits the air and, pfft, you know, disintegrate. No, I'm joking. So, it was warped in a little bit. And going to put him down in the middle of the frame. Now, this is kind of plain, but it is so cute to me. Oh, my gosh. And I found that navy yarn at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make it a tail. Yep. So, I got me a little milk thing, and I'm just going to wrap it around. I wrapped it 65 times. Now, y'all don't have to do it that many times, but... If you do, his tail's going to be fluffier. Now, me, I'm silly. I tied that off. I'm like, wait a minute. That's not right. Then I took it off and I tied it in the middle. That's how you make a pom-pom. I'm so used to making tassels, I confuse myself. So, anyway, you just cut the loops out. And then you trim it up. Give it a little haircut, however short, long, big, small, fluffy, unfluffy you want it. And I'm going to glue it to its little rump. I think this is so adorable. I'm keeping this. I love this. I love, love it. Unless my mom and daddy want it. Anyway, oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, my goodness. Oh, so I just took a sawtooth hanger and put it on the back. Because those little particle board ones are just terrible. Here it is, y'all. So cute. Oh, my gosh. Isn't it adorable? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Right here, I got this beautiful tablecloth from burlapfabric.com. There's a SKU number if you guys want to look it up and check it out. I'll have their um thing in the description box below. Now, here, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I cut it 18 by 15. I don't know why. Um, I would suggest cutting it square. You know, like 18 by 18. But, you know me, I just do things differently. And you need a couple rubber bands. Look how pretty that is. And, um, I took some black beans. I probably needed brown beans, but you can't really see through it. Um, and some polyfill, and I stuffed it in my material there. Y'all, this couldn't be easier to make. Y'all can make a thousand of these. And just take your rubber band. Now, I only wrapped it around a couple times at first, so I could get my little bottom, <clears throat> excuse me, as full as I wanted it. And then I tightened it up. <coughs> I say some dumb stuff. Y'all, it's going to be this big. I'm so sorry it's long, but I don't know what else to do. Unless I just shorten my videos and only make a couple DIYs. So anyway, you put more polyfill in there and put another rubber band on and you got your little head. And pull it tight like you would your ponytail in your hair. Or for you gentlemen out there, I don't know, just pull it tight. I don't know what to say. And I took a Sharpie and I drew some little eyes and a little mouth. And I took... Um, my a needle and some jute, and I ran it right through where the whiskers would be, y'all. This is so cute. Look, yeah, you just pull it really hard and get it through there. And I did that. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I thought that you guys really just wanted to see me do it. And I was like, I need to cut some stuff out of this video. I don't know why. Well, this is one of the things I could have cut out of the video. Anyway, so yeah, ran that through three times and cut that 
cut the little whiskers where I wanted them. And I took my white um, paint marker and put some little whites in her eyes. And I got this little teeny tiny pink heart bead button, I mean heart button, and I glued it on for her nose. And I took three other little pink buttons, different colors, different sizes, and glued them down her little belly. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute, y'all. I love it. Anyway, and I made just an awareness bow, just a little tiny pink bow um, to put in her hair. I wish I had like a lighter, lighter color pink. That one's kind of like pink, but you know, that's all I had. And I took a little piece of burlap and glued it around her neck. Looked like she got a little necklace on. And there she is. Oh, isn't she cute? Betty the bunny, ain't she adorable, y'all? <laughs> Look at her ears. You just tighten real tight, split down the middle, just pull fabric one way and pull fabric another. You got her ears. Okay, y'all. Got one of them snow globes from the Dollar Tree from Christmas time. And I'm just going to remove the tag and remove as much of that paper as I can because I was going to make it double-sided. But for obvious reasons, I ran out of time, and I didn't have enough. This video is so long, y'all. If you don't watch it, I understand, but I really, really will cry. Uh, anyway, so I send that down the best I can. See that I could have cut out a video. Now, originally, I painted it an elephant because I was going to do one thing. And then I painted it cashew because I got a package in a mail from Miss Deborah Broussard. Y'all need to see this. Thanks, Deb. Oh, my goodness. The napkin she sent me was gorgeous. She sent me two packages. One of them was a beautiful wreath she made me for my house for Valentine's Day. She sent me some crimson uh, chalk paint. And when I have a shorter video, I'm going to show you all some of these napkins. They're beautiful. Now, um, I just put, uh, I'm sorry, I took the, the, the plies off the back of it. <laughs> And put a very light coat of Mod Podge and lay my napkin down to where I wanted it because, you know, I want to try to get it even as I could. And I do mine in sections. Y'all been with me for a while. You know I'm just learning how to decoupage because Mod Podge is my enemy. So, anyway, look. Just lay it down. Oh, isn't it so cute? And get you some saran wrap. And that way you won't rip your napkin if you lay it on top because... My subscribers, y'all told me and taught me this. So, yay, thank you very much. I love you guys. You know I do. Anyway, and I just um, burnish it down there. And when it dries, take my little finger sander and sand all around. Take the excess napkin off of it. Y'all, this is so cute. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Um, Oh, and I took that one of them little, you know that little um sticker pack or rub on transfer pack? Comes from the Dollar Tree. It has a bunch of words in it. Well, I had the word family and I had the word memories. And I went with family. Maybe I should have went with memories. And then, of course, I even took a ruler to try to measure it. And I still put it on there crooked. <laughs> so, I'm going to fix that. I take and cut two little teeny tiny flowers out of another rub on transfer pack. Because I got a bunch of them open and cut up and, and put them all in one bag. Anyway. So, I took two little flowers. And I put one on each side of the word family. You know what I mean? Like two little teeny tiny ones. And then I took and cut. Oh, I, well, I cut out a heart and put it on there too. And I take that lace ribbon and from the Dollar Tree and I wrap it around the base there. Now, it was, it was cute, but I kept feeling like it was missing something. You know what I mean? So, of course, I go extra. You know me. I'm always going extra. I made a little um, bow out of that lace ribbon. Just wrapped jute twine around there, tied it up, and then I end up wrapping like a little piece of that lace ribbon in the center of it, I think. No, not on that one. Sorry. Yeah, I did. Look, cut it down the middle and then glued it and then wrapped it around it. Now, I didn't have to do that because of what I do later, but you know. Oh my gosh, this I could have cut out. I don't even think... I built a shelf, y'all, and couldn't even get it in the video because the video is so long. And that I just piddled around forever and a day with. I don't know. Sorry, y'all. Anyway, so I took the lace ribbon and I glued it, hot glued it all the way around the globe part. And I thought, well, maybe that will help. It didn't. I'm like, no. 
So then I take some jute. That jute came from burlapfabric.com, y'all. That stuff is sturdy, and it's not fuzzy, and it's like, I don't know. I can't explain it. It's really cool, really neat. So anyway, um, I wrapped it around my little glove thingy and glued it down real good. And then I realized it was over my ribbon, so. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, there. There's the skew number for that. There it is. There's the uh, jute. And I'm like, I don't like this. So I cut the lace ribbon off, cut my bow off, and then rewrap ribbon, the lace ribbon around it because I, I didn't want the jute to be over the lace. Does that make any sense, y'all? It just looks better this way. I guess I didn't have to add that, but I just wanted y'all to see. There it is. Look at that, y'all. Oh, my gosh. That is adorable, y'all. Come on now. Look at it. Oh, wow. I'm in love. So, <laughs> get you some tumbling tire blocks. I can't tell you how many because y'all know how I am. And I started with the base there. I thought, yeah. So, I ended up going four across gluing four side by side here we go y'all's gonna be able to see what i'm doing better than i'm gonna be able to explain it because you know how i am but you guys i make the cutest little easter basket the lace ribbon off cut my bow off and then rewrap ribbon the lace ribbon around it because i i didn't want the jute to be over the lace. Does that make any sense, y'all? It just looks better this way. I guess I didn't have to add that, but I just wanted y'all to see. There it is. Look at that, y'all. Oh my gosh. That is adorable, y'all. Come on now. Look at it. Oh wow, I'm in love. Okay, y'all. Right here, I'm building something. And I don't, oh, okay. So, <laughs> get you some tumbling tire blocks. I can't tell you how many, because y'all know how I am. And I started with the base there, I thought, yeah. So, I ended up going four, across, gluing four side by side. But you guys, I make the cutest little Easter basket. Oh, my goodness. So, I take my blocks and I straighten them up best I can. You know what I mean? Get them equal even whatever and i take my um wood glue and i glue this together now i do four and then i do four more you see what i'm saying and that's all i use all the way up to the top is four it's just a matter of placing them and then you got just a little bit further like um on i mean if you go all the way up you're just gonna have a square so if you lean them out a little bit further and try to put them diagonal right across from each other. You see you see what I'm doing there? Like that? <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. I shouldn't be allowed to use tumbling tire blocks because I'm a mess every time I do. I can't tell you how high I went either. I wanted to say I went about nine stacks high, but y'all can go as high as you want and as big as you want. And you can take and put a big old base down and just just go crazy man build your beautiful wooden easter baskets because this thing is just too pretty yeah see i just keep four 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 that's all i use on each label yeah and so what i do is after i glue so many um i take and put um you see wait like that i put some weight on it because then it has set it down. I leave it on there for about five minutes and it squished the glue out. And I took a, just a paintbrush and cleaned that glue up in there. And then I do it and do it and do it some more till I get it as big as I want it. Do it, set my little thing on there again. <clears throat> but, oh, yeah. So I propped the blocks under because I went out so forward. You see what I'm saying? So if you put blocks in the gap there... And I hold them other blocks up till they dry. And yeah, I let it dry about two hours. And look how pretty my little wooden basket is. And then I take four more tumbling tablet. This time I use hot glue, wood glue. Because I'm like, I don't have time. I got to get my butt in gear. And I glue them sideways on their side. 
to kind of make the top be as flat as possible. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. And then I took some floor wire and some beads. And again, I used like a, uh, ten, a 12 millimeter, 10 millimeter, you know, big, small, big, small, big, small. I can't tell you how many beads I used, y'all. And I think, you know, it's going to vary for how long, how big, how high. I can't think straight. I got some eye hooks there. You want your handle and how big you want your basket. And I just take that little sharp tool from Dollar Tree and jab it a little hole in to start so I can twist my hook. All my tools are at my daughter's house. Oh, my goodness, y'all. You see what I mean? I just started my little... <laughs> talk too much sorry i need a drink i just started my little hole like that screwed my little eye, eye hooks in one across from one another one on each side took my floor wire and tied it up on that little eye hook wrapped it around the base of it and i made me a little basket handle y'all oh my goodness you could probably make a basket handle out of the the tumbling tire blocks oh i know you can yeah but i just wanted the beads and i just got me some antique wax there by waverly and i'm just gonna stain my whole basket now that brush is a blue hawk staining brush <sighs> good golly i got it from the home depot i've had it forever but anyway and then i just wipe my wax off let it wax off wax on wax off anyway who you up paint the vents i got me some clothespins there and i was gonna make me some carrots and then what i do is kind of wonky y'all i mean i don't know <clears throat> me and my imagination so i paint like let me see there i got i got only got three carrots i was gonna have six carrots but what i did i went crazy um you could take all kinds of stuff and make your little grass for your carrot at the top of it um so i got um I don't know what that is and where it even come from. So, I saw it and I used that and little bitty baby's breath. And I'm going to make my carrot stem with it. And just put some glue down. And glue it across. And glue your little greenery down. <laughs> and then, I ran hot glue all the way down my carrot. And I squished it in there between it. Now, I know y'all have seen people do it a million times. It's still cute. But then, I took glue and glued another... <laughs> clothespin to the side of it and then glue another clothespin to the side of that i only end up with three carrots like i said oh uh, you heard me say that i was supposed to have six anyway i added more greenery to that one and squished it together and i made it a, a bigger carrot i don't know um i thought it was cuter maybe i'm i'm different anyway so i wrapped some jute at the very base of the greenery because i mean it didn't show it wasn't bad i just wanted to make it all cutesy like that and um i tied it off and then i made me a little jute bow i've just confused y'all confused myself because i totally lost where i was and what i was saying and i made me a little jute bow and i tied it to the top of each of my little carrots <laughs> yeah i know guys i'm so sorry i don't know why i'm like i am but i am Oh, took some Waverly Wax and just going to rustic up my little carrots, you know, make them look old and dingy and all that jazz, crusty. Anyway, and, oh, I took a cheapy brush and I decided to stretch, my, stretch, stretch it, my basket, distress my basket because I just wanted it a bit lighter. I didn't want it as dark. And, anyway, I took some of that stuff um why do i always forget the name of it y'all know what it is right uh raffia sorry just different colors and i put it down in my basket to fill in the base so i didn't have to use as much spanish moss put some spanish moss in there put some little eggs i got from hobby lobby last year and put my carrots in there took one of them little moss bunnies i got from dollar tree last year and I, yeah, I could have cut this out. I, I tied a little bow, and I glue it on the front of my basket. 
And I tied another wee little teeny tiny bow. I'm making an awareness bow. And I tied jute around the center. And I make a little teeny tiny bow for my little teeny tiny bunny rabbit. My moss bunny rabbit. And I glue it to his neck there. And y'all will see. I think this thing is adorable. That's kind of like, well... Anyway, look, oh my goodness, look at my little Easter basket, isn't it cute? Oh, I love it, it's so cute. Oh my goodness, I hope you all love it too. Look at my little carrots, they just look beefier to me, like more hearty. Like something I'd want to throw in a stew. Anyway, okay y'all. I got three of those birdhouses from the Dollar Tree. And then I got that little lot house and that little barn from Michael's for 50 cents a piece. But that's been a while back. So, look at those ziggy zaggy jewels that the Dollar Tree has now with little flowers in between it. Well, aren't those the cutest? Well, I end up not using the outhouse and the barn. I'll save them for another day. And just, you might need to sand down your birdhouses. Even after I did, I had one that was really, really rough. Yeah, and um, I'm going to take these jewels now. I'm going to decorate my houses up. Yes. Let me see. Oh, yeah. So I took the ziggy zaggy ones. With, now, the flowers, I thought I could pull the ziggy zags off. Okay, we'll call it chevron. I'm sorry. Let me be more professional. Chevron pattern. And I like the ziggy zaggy word better. And I thought, like, the ziggy zags would come off and then the flowers separate. No, it's all attached together. So, you get one, you get all, which is fine because when y'all see how this roof turns out, it looks so good. So, on that first layer there, I put one set of ziggy zaggies. In the second layer, I put two. And then I took them pearls, that's a sheet of pearls. <laughs> From Dollar Tree, and you have to separate them. You have to cut them apart. I didn't know. I thought they like come off in strands, like everything else does, but it don't. So you gotta cut them down. And I framed the house with that. And then I took those little beads there, and I put two stripes on the front and the back of my little house, um, and around the base of it there. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should have framed all of it out. No, because I put um flower. And then, okay, there I took them little dot things there. They're singular, and I covered my roof with them in that, in that other house. And then there's some beautiful ones I used last year at spring. It looks like little flowers, and I just wrapped it around the house right there. What did I do with that other one? I'm looking. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. I changed that one. Yeah, y'all will see. You all see. Anyway, so I took... um. Pink and cashew mixed together because I didn't want, like, a pink pink. Like, pink. I wanted, like, an old-looking, like, faded, like, pink. You know what I mean? And I did that with the blue, too. And I mixed cashew with both of them. And it looks really good. Y'all, y'all see. <laughs> y'all see. I mix way too much paint, though. And I first, originally, I painted it just with that blue. And I'm like, no, that is too much. And then I lightened it by mixing cashew with it. And then that one, I painted with that sage by Folk Art chalk paint. I love that stuff. It's gorgeous. It's like celery from Waverly. I love it. It's pretty. The only reason I use that is because it's in a squirty bottle. And man, can I talk. I can just find words to say that make absolutely no sense and just keep talking. And I apologize. I'm so sorry. Anyway, now see where I mixed that um cashew in with that? I like that better because it wasn't as... um. It was, um, it wasn't as, um, I don't, I can't find the words. You couldn't see that color from outer space. So, it kind of tamed it down. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't as loud. I'll use that. And then I took that. It's a little, uh, you see that jewel packet there on my, well, if you're looking at it, it's going to be on your right, but it's on my left. And it has that circle in the middle, and I cut out the one circle and put it around the bird hole, and then cut out the other one and put it around my perch. Yes. So, and then I take moss chalk paint by way of Lena paint it dark green because I wanted light on the outside and dark on the inside because I just thought that would look really pretty together. So then I take eight 
tumbling tire blocks and glue them side by side or end to end and six tumbling tire blocks end to end and four tumbling tire blocks end to end and I do it twice and then I glue them together. Do y'all see what I'm doing there? To make me a thick bird post and I stain them with Waverly antique wax. I don't know why. Uh, Y'all, glue your uh, thing together before you stain it. Because I end up having to re-glue re mine because of that wax, of course. Wax is wax, you know. So, anyway. And just glued my birdhouses on top of each one of my thingies. Oh, the bases, I, I glued five apart. Like, five side by side to put them on. And I got those little silk, that silk ivy. I've had that stuff, y'all, for, for two years, and I'm just now using it. I got it off Amazon for, like, $3, and I did see it, um, where did I see it, y'all? Um, oh, I saw it at Walmart, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy that, and I'm like, no, I ain't got some. So, anyway, yeah, um, I can put it in the description box, but, I, yeah, it's up to y'all, y'all let me know, so, Anyway, I'm just going to glue that ivy all the way around my little bird post. I mean, I made them high because I wanted them to sit above my shelf, kind of. But then the one was too short and didn't. But it doesn't matter now. And I glued some of that ivy, like, around that house and up beside the bird hole. I don't... What is that called? The home hole? The bird hole? I don't know what it's called. Anyway, I know the perch. But anyway... So, and I glue an ivy up the house like it was growing up the house. <laughs> <laughs> and you say, duh. Um, anyway. Oh, lousy Jean. I didn't mean to show you that that long. So sorry. And I take some lavender and I glue it over top of the ivy. These are so pretty, y'all. Just so, just dainty. Just so, like, yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> And I glue some flowers on them, put some of them little butterflies on them, and look, y'all, look at that roof. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I did hit them with some Waverly Antique. Well, look at my birdhouses. Aren't they adorable? I think they are just adorable. Okay, got one of them plaques there from Dollar Tree, y'all. And I already painted one black for Christmas and didn't get to do what I was going to do, so I'm going to paint it. Um, well, I started painting the whole thing with plaster chalk paint. Then I changed my mind. So I just paint the top of the plaque and the bottom ring of the plaque. And I leave the center one black. Um, you'll see what I mean here in a minute. I got one of them trays from the Dollar Tree. Well, I've had one for a hundred years again. Back with that again. And I'm going to steeple some celery chalk paint onto the tray. Because... It makes it go in a lot of lighter, lighter, lighter coats sometimes to me, and it dries faster because I had to get a move on with this, y'all. Yeah, it did. Y'all wait till you see. Oh my! Look! Oh my goodness, Deborah Broussard, I love you. She sent me so many napkins. Oh my goodness! And she sent me the one in the beginning, y'all. Song little thing. I, I love y'all more than I love the napkin, I said. It, that's Harvey, my grandpuppy. Anyway, look at that napkin, y'all. Now, I know that you can go online and print out um, a pictures like that um, on some tissue paper. Now, I can't do that because my computer's so old it won't let me print. So, I'm having issues. My husband said, let's get a new one. I'm like, wow, this one's working. He said, it's not printing. But, you know, it's a whole big thing. I really need to get one so I can start printing out little pictures. Plus, I was supposed to do a collaboration with Hapu, and I can't because my computer... You all don't care about all that mess. But anyway, I'm going to take some Mod Podge after I separate the back of my napkin. And I'm going to Mod Podge that beautiful bunny rabbit down. Again, I'm going to go in sections because I'm... Even though I've just been doing this for about five months, I've got the hang of it, I think. But until I don't, you know what I mean? <laughs> then it, then something turns a mess. And I take my um, saran paper, thanks to y'all, let me know. Put it down there because it don't stick to it. And then I'm going to burnish it down. And when it dries, I'm going to put another layer of Mod Podge on it. And this guy is good looking. 
and I'm going to take a really soft brush and some Mod Podge <coughs> and put it <coughs> around my tray, sorry, and just take my finger sander and sand off the excess paper and take my furniture marker, the one in black, and go around the edge of my <coughs> little rabbit picture. Mm. And then, and then, look, I missed that, but I, I, I forgot to film, but I put a uh, nautical rope inside my picture. It took one and a half there. And then I, inside my tray, and I did put a wood bead hanger on there, but sorry, y'all. You know, I'm a hot mess. And anyway, I'm going to take me some little carrots, and I put some greenery down on those carrots. Those little carrots came from the Dollar Tree. And I built me a little bird egg nest on the bottom of my picture, y'all. And I'm going to make a little bow. Um, I think this is gorgeous, you guys. I think he is just so smart looking. He's just like, yeah, I'm the bomb. That's right. Oh, I got that burlap ribbon from burlap, burlap fabric.com, gee whiz. I'm go oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. That was rude. I'm going to dovetail all the ends of my little ribbon there, and I'm just going to make me a cute little bow. Just going to pinch it all up in the middle, and take me a wire tie, pull it together, clip the excess off. Take a little piece of that um that lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree, hot glue it down in the middle, and glue my little rib my bow on there. <coughs> I think that's cute, y'all. And I didn't use that eucalyptus, but look, I made a little bird nest, and then the little carrots. I pulled that ugly uh whatever that was out of them carrots that came with those are last year's the smaller ones, y'all. And there you go. And isn't that gorgeous? I am in love with that rabbit. Anyway, I like the I like the tray. I think it's pretty. I really really hey, like that, y'all. I got one that sign from Christmas time, and I'm just gonna take. I don't know why I cut the tag off. Just tear that mess off there. Take the staples out, and I sand down over a little hole. Paper, when it hangs over the edge, I've told y'all this before, it drives me nuts, and you can see it. So I peel it back so my stuff will look better. <clears throat> then I'm going to cover the back with some, cra I call it craft paper, shipping paper, whatever you get it at the Dollar Tree. Put some hot glue on it so nobody's going to cover up. I'm going to cover up that ugly. Yeah, because that is ugly. But anyway, Put hot glue in there, and you just good to go. Hot to trot. Look there, der, der, der. Anyway, and cut the mace off around the edges. Okay, I'm going to paint it white. I give it two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. Now here, I'm going to make me a little border, and I'm just taking some painter's tape. <clears throat> I don't measure, y'all. Y'all might want to measure. I don't. I'm, I guesstimate. And, yeah. Mm. Anyway, and it what I did is took my craft knife and cut off the edge there, the corner. You know, you saw me do it. To make it straight. Um, the rest of it I try to cut with scissors, but if anybody, anybody, any of it hung over, I cut it with craft knife. <sighs> exactly. Whatever. Y'all know. And I'm taking some... Uh, Waverly chalk paint ink. Um, I'm trying not to say anyway as much because <laughs> I was called out on that. It was funny. Um, 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 I'm saying I'm a lot. And then I take uh my now look, I like to take it off while it's wet. Um, the tape off while the paint's wet. But here I had to dry it because I needed or I wanted to reuse my tape again. And I just make me two thin lines going across the side of it, top side. Y'all remember the um, sign I made for Christmas said Jesus is the reason for the season. Why well, I'm going to make me an Easter one. And I know y'all was like, I can't believe she's doing Easter already. Well, and look, I put my tape down the side there and made me a thin line. Look what happened at Christmas. I got sick for two months and couldn't finish my Christmas stuff. So I'm going to make sure I'm on it with Easter, y'all. Anyway, I just like that little pattern there. Now, I got that little snowman. He was from Christmas time. Galvanized snowman. Anyway, in that um that buffalo check vinyl <clears throat> from the Dollar Tree. Mm, I stuck a piece of that to my cricket mat, my medium grip cricket mat, and I got the paper stuck on there. I need to work to get that off. Anyway, I just cut me a piece off there. 
and it wasn't straight, so I straightened it up and just cut it out with your craft knife, cut out around it, and it was easy as pie. And I got two jumbo, the really large craft sticks from the Walmart, and I'm gonna make me some bunny ears. <laughs> Y'all, I just love the stuff in this video. I mean, well, one thing I really, really didn't like, and y'all's gonna be like, I understand why. Um, you'll see, like, ooh, Kathy, what's the matter with you? Anyway, so I put that mess down there, and I traced around it so I know where to put the hot glue down. And I'm using wood glue, hot glue, to make my ear stick and I uh, put an extra piece so it wouldn't like wobble you know what I mean I wanted it to lay even and I cut a piece of that vinyl off so I can use my glue and I take fix all glue fix all super glue from the Dollar Tree and I take hot glue and I glue my little bunny rabbit down in it and to the stuff and those snowballs yeah see I had a cute idea for those snowballs I didn't get to wear anyway they're the medium sized snowballs from the Dollar Tree from Christmas and I just Glued on the rear end, his little took us um, on his bum and make me a bunny tail. And on my cricket, I printed out Silly Rabbit Easter's for Jesus, and I think that is adorable. It is adorable, y'all. This thing's so cute. Boost your revenue and drive growth with Google Ads. Reach high value customers across. Yeah, that's where that paper got stuck to my mat, y'all. That's crazy, man. Crazy. Crazy. I don't know. So, there we go. I think this is so cute. I hope y'all like it. I do. And, yeah, I don't know why I showed y'all that mess, but you know my editing skills are on power. Anyway, I'm taking a paint stir stick, and I'm going to hold it up there because this is going to be my stand. I just put me, well, I tried to put me a line. It's hard to do. I needed, like, five hands. Yeah. And I'm going to take two tumbling tire blocks. They were, I just grabbed some out of a bucket. One's white and one's black. And then I do like an L shape. You'll see it here in a minute when I stand it up. And glue it across through there. That way you can hang it over on something. Or you can do what I'm about to do. And that's this. There you go. That's simple. Look there. <laughs> stand it up. There you go. Yay. Hi, guys. I love you. And love you. Very much. From the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm just going to make me a bow. Y'all, I just opened that ribbon. No joke. And I used it all in this video. A whole row. A whole row. A whole bow, bow, bow. Anyway. And I glue it there to the side of my little sign. And y'all, is this not the cutest or what? Oh my goodness. Look how cute that is. I love Alrighty. it. So, I got a piece of wood out from my garage, and it's 19 inches long. I sanded it down real good, and I'm taking celery, Waverly chalk paint, and I'm going to paint this entire sign. Yep. The whole thing. And I got my little bunny rabbit there. You know, the ones that come in the packet. Packets. Pack, yeah. And I'm going to put some of that caulk. No. Um. Oh, what is that? I use it all the time. Putting that stuff in its hole, in its ear. So, on my cricket, I cut out, um, bunny trail. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> yeah. What is that stuff called? Um, spackling. I know you all like when I do that, like I scream out loud, do I scare you? Trying to hold on to my eye there. Or, no, the dot of my eye. So, I just take out contact paper, and I don't, I should have deleted that. And, anyway, yeah. So, I'm just trying to line it up to see where I want it. And, there we go. I only gave that boar one coat. It covered it good. So, it was my little bunny rabbit, and I got that uh, Waverly Chalk paint in ink. And I'm going to stain them. I got a um, wet wipe there. And I'm just going to dip it in the paint. And rub it all over him. And wipe him down as I go. So there he is dry. I'm going to put him on my little board. 
This turned out so cute, I think, too. That is one of those um, fix your furniture marker things. I don't know what they're called. If you get at the Dollar Tree, you get three of them in a pack, and that one's black. And I just drew a little... I should have drawn the line around it before I did the bunny rabbit, but I didn't know what I was doing. And I just got me one of those little sawtooth hangers that you pound in and just measured out about where the middle is and pounded it in. Hammered it in. Sorry. So I got a little bit of antique wax that was left over from something else and I just used what was left in my brush and just ran it over just a little bit not a lot just a little bit you can barely even tell just a little bit <laughs> and I took some of that um good gravy those flowers and I wrapped jute twine around it tied it up and made a little bouquet and glued it down there that lavender and I made um, him a little tie. He's going to go get his bouquet and go get his girlfriend and give her the bouquet of flowers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Forgot to flip that bunny trails backwards. Oh, and then I tied in a knot. I took jute twine and I tied it in a knot like four times, right? And one knot on top of the other. And made him a little jute tail. I don't know why I laugh. <laughs> I, I really don't. And that's done. And I think that is so cute for Easter. That's just adorable. Look at it. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah. He going to eat him a carrot there. Maybe take a nap on that succulent. I have to find something to say at all times. Look, next weekend, or no, next, okay, I got one of those little short, ch chunky houses from the Dollar Tree. It's like me, it's short and wide. But anyway, and I took, I pushed the back out of it, and I tried to get that paper off. I could not. So I sanded it the best I could, and I got that paper there from Hobby Lobby. Um, they have it, like, I don't know. I went the other day and it wasn't four for a dollar. They were sixty nine cents a piece, and I'm like, I'm not buying it. I'll wait till it's four for a dollar. So I'm just going to cut it out. It's that little shiplap paper. I, I, I think I showed it to y'all, but I think I was talking about something else in the process. Oh my! And I got my little glue stick. I make sure I go on the edges real good, real good, and then I put it on the middle. You can't even tell that paper's on there. I sanded it down. And I took my little Cricut tool and, and scraped, and I'm glad I did because a big blob of glue came, came out the top of it. So you get three of those little moss bunnies in a packet at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to mark a line, like a little short line, around his head, head, tail, nose, and underneath. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm going to take it around and make a circle all of it, make those lines match up. <clears throat> This is, and then I'm going to take, the, I love those things, but it's an inspiration piece from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's not exactly like theirs, but they did have a little wreath that was, um, it looked, it, well, it was painted on, and heavens knows, uh, nobody wants to see me painting anything on. So, I got those, and I cut those out, because you can't use that round wreath, because your bunny's too big. So, I decided to make me a wreath. And I just put the little rub on transfer down. I think heat works good. I think when you put your finger on it and rub it, it seemed to me that I got them off real good and fast like that. And I'm just going to take, like, the shape they go when they're shaped, like, round, like, you know, bends a certain way. I'm just going to go the direction that the greenery is bending in. I don't make a bit of sense. <laughs> I don't know how I was the head of a department <laughs> and took care of people in America and the military and Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands. I'm like, and they made me responsible for that. Can you believe? <laughs> oh, anyway, 
So then I took the other um, style, the little rounder leaves instead of the pointier leaves, and I laid that on there too to make it thicker and make little sprigs like stick out throughout the wreath. Um, Y'all do what you want. I just made, see, isn't that cute? I just made my own little pattern. And they do go right one on top of the other, no problem. So I'm going to glue my little moss bunny in there. Aw, that's so cute. I love this one. I'm in love with this one. And I made a little uh, shoestring jute twine bow. She'll say that fast three times. And I'm just going to glue my house right back on top of my little background. Okay, so here I got these four little flower pots at Hobby Lobby. I got them 40% off, and then I got those little candle um, cups. I know that's not what they all were. Candle stands. Anyway, I'm going to paint them on Waverly White chalk paint. And I'm going to take uh, what's left of that jute twine I had before that I made the other stuff with and run it on just the inside of his little house. Maybe that's the girl. Now the little bunny's going to go see her and take her that bouquet of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't talk. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> and I'm just going to glue it all the way around. And then I'm going to um, glue my little house to that little candle thing. Yeah. And then I got my little flower pots. Those are so cute. <laughs> I love it. Anyway. And I'm going to put that lavender. I'm taking the greenery off the lavender. and going to glue a piece. Just like take one piece off. And glue the end of it. And stick it down in there. And then I'm going to clip down my lavender. And I'm going to stick it in the little flower pots. And that is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love that. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know why. I just I just do. It's not exactly like the one at Hobby Lobby. It don't have the little flower pots or the stand or nothing like that. But or the bow or nothing. But I don't know. I put my own twist to it. I just think it's adorable. Ampus cutter. It's got a blade in it and it's cut you circles and you put it down. It leaves a little hole in the middle of your thing, but you just slowly turn it around, turn around until it cuts out a perfect circle. And I cut three inch circles. And I sand them down a little bit. And I took lightweight spackle and I put it in a hole in the center of it. Let that dry. Sand that down a tad. And then I take this uh, egg paper. I got it last year. Easter time at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to take my glue stick and glue my little round things there to that paper. Y'all, my mouth is dry. Every time I do a video and I talk so much, it just... My mouth goes dry. I don't know why I said it so loud. I was thinking y'all couldn't hear me because I'm really far away from some of y'all. <laughs> anyway, just cut it out with my craft knife. And I'm going to use that that scrapbooking paper I got from Walmart. Mm -hmm. And I wanted that blue dot side. So, when I get my paper on there, just with my glue stick, I wrap nautical rope around the edge of all of them just glue it down there real good <clears throat> and on the egg side i took purple and white baker's twine i got that from the dollar tree too y'all and i put it on the inner edge there and then on the back side the blue side i put jute twine that jute came from walmart um the walmart and i wrap it around the inside now i take a uh, masking tape and i like to tape it down put my letters on it and things like that so i can paint them without holding them and getting it all over me and making a mess everywhere. So, that, the Easter uh, word, I painted Lavender Purple by Waverly. I think that's what it's called, Lavender. And the spring, I originally painted blue, and then I was like, it's not going to show up good on that blue, so I painted yellow. Mm-hmm. Yellow. Yellow. And you should poke holes in it, punch holes in it before you put the nautical rope on it. My my um my crocodile wouldn't couldn't get the holes with the jute there. So I just took that garden tool and jabbed holes in it and made little circles in it and hot glue your letters down. Now here 
I put three beads, like a big, small, big. I think they are, um, let me think. I think they're, um, 10 millimeter and 8 millimeter. So, it was like 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 10 millimeter. That put three in between each one. And then, I, I doubled up my jute there, see? And I ran it through, I went through the Easter word, and then <sighs> pulled the jute up off from under it. And, and I took one string on one side and one on the other and double my I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Because, okay, here's one more time. This is why I did it like this. Because I'm like, okay, see, I took both strings and ran it through the front where the Easter is. Come on, Abby, get in here. I'm sorry, y'all. Every time I start a video, these dogs want to go out. And see how I split the... Y'all see what I'm talking about? Oh my goodness. Again, I should not be allowed on YouTube. Could you imagine me as a school teacher? Them children would be so confused. None of them would make it to the next grade. <laughs> they'd be like, we got to keep you back. Something wrong with y'all. And then they'd be like, it's teacher. And I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, at the top there, I just made a, a lark's head knot. But I put five beads. It was big, small, big, small, big. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway... And that's how I made my hanger, and that's how I do it on the opposite end, in case I forget to tell you there. And I just tie a knot in it so I can hang it. And then I'm going to make me a tassel. Now, with the jute, I wrapped it around 20 times. With the blue, I wrapped it 8. The yellow was 8, and the purple was 10. That's how many times I wrapped it. 8, 8, 10, 20. And, yeah. I don't know. Well, I didn't show me making a tassel. I think I've showed it like a million times. Y'all probably don't want to see it anyway. So I made little yellow and blue bows. And I just alternated it down through there. It was like yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. And I just wrapped the, the baker's twine around my finger five times. And tied a string in the middle. And made my bow that way. Jesse, you want cookie? Jesse, you want cookie? Get in here. Oh, that dog, y'all. Anyway, and I took my little carrots and glued them every other one. I took my little eggs and I took my paint markers and I colored them because I thought that'd be the quickest easiest way but it was such a mess and I did yellow and pink and then I took the black paint marker and put little specks on them and I glued them down every other other <laughs> and there it is y'all there it says spring see I got this wall and here it says he said when you come in my front door and it's a little skinny wall and I thought that'd be something cute to hang on that wall I just think it's adorable, y'all. Oh, well, there you go. That's not Disney. Disney? Okay, right here. Got 11 by 14. Picture frame. Y'all, don't forget to go check out my friend Angie. She is absolutely amazing. I love her to death. She is the best. Anyway, and I got me some of those little flower-looking rhinestone thingamajigs. And I'm going to put it all around my frame. As my border. And I got my truffle chalk paint wavely. And I took one of them brushes from the Dollar Tree. It's kind of like a distraction brush. It's a kindergartner brush, I think. But you can really get down in between them cracks with that thing. And then I painted the entire canvas with it. I need to put my camera closer. I'm too far away. Anyway, and right here I'm taking cashew. And I'm going over all them little rhinestones. Like a rhinestone cowboy. Bum, bum. Oh, and then I'm going to take it and run it all up and down the canvas. Okay, so, got that burlap. I'm going to glue it on the back. Now, you want to glue this loosely, too. This, this, this one I glued a little bit too tight. It should have been a little bit more loose, but... Look how fast I'm going. I just, I was just going too fast. I didn't stop to think. And then you're going to take a piece from side to side. And glue it on there. Now I glued that one looser. More loose. Yeah, that sounds better. And just tie that up too. Double knot it. And then I stuck that blue. Uh, thing in the middle of it. What is it called? And I'm taking some of that cashew. 
And I'm just running over the tips of that succulent. Yeah. And then those are dead flowers that you buy at the flower tree. I got those last year. And then look, after me mixing that paint together, I found that little blue over here. Um, I'll tell you the name of I put everything in the description box. If it if it does if it isn't from Dollar Tree, I list where it come from. And I'm just running it over my burlap and a little bit over my board and everything. And then I'm going to throw them little dead flowers in there when I'm done. I think this ends up pretty. I like these anyway. Oh, isn't it pretty? I can't believe that color matched the color that I mixed up exactly. I'm like, dude, I had it on the shelf the whole time. 